You know better than Chris Brooks what it's like to feel no sense of home. From the age of five, he lived in more than 30 foster homes. He aged out of the system when he turned 19, and it hasn't always been easy since then. He was homeless for a while, but eventually he got his GED. He's attending college now and also works at the Nevada Partnership for Homeless Youth. And he joins us tonight from Las Vegas. Good to see you. Um, everybody somewhere has family, aunts, uncles, cousins. Do you have any sense that you have family anywhere? My family is, is, is now my best friends. The, the people I've grown up over the years and the people that have helped me get by when things were tough, th those are my family now. But you, you, you've, you have no cousins that you know of, no uncles, no aunts anywhere? I, I have, uh, you know, just like everybody else, I, I have family. The only thing is I don't know most of them. Uh, I, I met my dad and, and his, his side of the family about two years ago, and, and we stay in contact uh, every now and then, but it's after, after not living with someone 18 years, I, I don't know what it's, it's kind of disturbing to have family. I'm, I'm so used to not having family. Yeah, actually, you said to us earlier today that when you grow up the way you grew up, that you uh, tend to shut down, that, that you become very inward. I think you said, I, I didn't let anyone in or I don't let anyone in. What did you mean? Well, what happens is, is uh, in, in my situation, I was uh, shuffled through over 30 different foster homes, group homes, and institutions. And so I would start to get attached to people and then I would lose them. I would get attached to somebody, I would lose them. I, I, would, I would get close to someone that, that would, I would think was a father and then I would lose them. So what happened is, is I got tired of being hurt, so I just stopped letting people in. Are you able to let people in now? It's, uh, I, I've, uh, it, it's getting easier. You know, it's still, it's still a long road, but it's, uh, it's getting a lot easier. Do you, uh, do you see yourself um, at some point falling in love, getting married, having kids? Uh, of course, of course. Have you fallen in love? Uh, many times. <laughs> okay. That's pretty normal for us to fall in love many times, I think. Um, you reached, there was a point, you actually had to make a remarkable choice. You were um, mm -hmm. approaching uh, uh, high school graduation, which meant more to you than, or at least different things to you than it did to most. Mm -hmm. Kind of walk through that, that scenario. In, in the state of Nevada at the time when I aged out the foster care system, which was about five years ago, the law stated that the state was to cut all financial ties to me when I turned 19 or graduated, whichever came first. So I was, as I was approaching about 18 and a half, this news was brought to me that I was either to uh, go out on my own and, and pay my own rent and, and graduate or not graduate and still be able to live in the foster care system. So I, I had to put off my dreams of, of graduating that I worked so hard to, I, you know, going through 30 different foster homes also means that you go through 30 different schools, you go through 30 different doctors, you go through 30 different neighborhoods, 30 different friends. So after all that, I, I accomplished, I was about to graduate, I got on back on track and I had to decide whether I wanted to be homeless or graduate. And you chose. I chose to not be homeless. Yeah. Um, was there a moment, do you think, in your life when if you had made one decision, you would have gone one way and we wouldn't be sitting here talking about someone who's on a, on, on a positive track? Was there a, a decision moment or is it something that just happened? There was, uh, there, there was a couple decisions. There, there was a couple points in my life that, that were very effective. One, I actually, uh, uh, my best friend got murdered in front of me. And uh, my few friends I had at that time, we decided that if we were going to continue to live the lifestyle that we were living, that we were all going to end up dead in prison or jail, and I, I, didn't, I didn't want that lifestyle. And then around, after I experienced homelessness, there was a, a, few, a few mentors that came into my life and dramatically changed it. Um, basically, if, if it wasn't for them, I, I wouldn't be sitting in this chair right now talking to you. You're still in touch with them? Uh, of course. Th those, are, those are my family. Those are my parents. 20 years from now, what do you think you'll be doing? Uh, probably President of the United States. Not a bad gig. I hear it's full-time work, though. Um, I'm up for it. Thank you. I, I expect you are. Good to meet you. Good luck. Me too. Thanks. Thank you. Ahead on the program, simulating. That's a good kid, huh?